All right, guys, M Tech Guy here, and we're back on the E60 M5 again today. And I know, I know, I've been beating you guys to death with the E46 videos lately, but to be honest, I've not really been doing much with the E60 M5 lately. I've hardly been driving it just now and again, but it spent most of its time just sitting around. It was getting a bit filthy, but I gave it a good clean up yesterday. Nice washing of wax after it had been accumulating a fair bit of dirt and dust and pollen over the last few weeks. Now I did daily drive the V10 for quite some time, but I've given up on that idea. Now, it was getting to the point where I was spending so much money on fuel and I wasn't getting any real enjoyment out of the car, not driving it to its full potential. So basically, I work in the city, I was driving like 25 minutes each way, each day. So I'd spend half the journey waiting for the car to warm up first thing in the mornings and there wasn't that much traffic on the road first thing. So get halfway to work, and then depending on how the traffic lights fall and how much traffic was about, I might get a little blast, be able to rev it out a bit between uh, stoplight to stoplight. If I was lucky, I might get to do that once on the way to work and then driving home from work, the traffic was just absolutely rammed. So you're just sitting in a queue of cars pretty much all the way home, just chugging along. You're lucky if you get over two and a half thousand RPMs for most of the journey. So it was pretty pointless spending all this money on fuel just to cruise gently to and from work whereas the E46 serves a much better purpose as a daily driver and don't get me wrong it's a real comfortable cruiser I love driving the car absolutely love driving this car whether I'm just cruising slowly or revving it out and driving it to its full potential but it just wasn't worth spending that amount of money on petrol especially on the way home from work just to be inching along there now if I had a bit of a longer commute on the open road or the back country roads it'd be a different story but driving this thing through the city every day in traffic although it's a comfortable car just wasn't worth it right now for me but I do try and get the car out once or twice a week anyway and it's much more of a sense of occasion when I do drive it so that is one positive to not using it that often so the old V10 has just been sitting around for a while and I've been so busy with so much other stuff I've got a lot on my plate at the minute I haven't really had much time to take care of any maintenance, preventative maintenance any bits and pieces I like to do on the car from time to time so today I do have a window of opportunity the sun's shining, it's not a bad day for it today now I do have some tiny little jobs to take care of nothing too exciting today but I thought I'd pull the camera out and I'll just go along and film what I'm doing it just gives a good picture of what it's like to own one of these cars it doesn't all have to be massive jobs preventative maintenance and big repair jobs this type of thing you know sometimes it is worth just taking care of these little things as they do crop up because if you leave them something else breaks and then something else falls apart and then before you know it you've got a huge long list of things that need sorting and you're driving around in a raggedy old car that's don't feel that nice to drive so nothing too exciting today but it'll be good to get these little things sorted out all right guys so we're going with the pov shot today i don't have much time to be setting up the camera at like 50 million different angles so we're just going to roll with this today keep it nice and simple so to start off with we'll fire up the old v10 now if we take a look at the check control messages they've been having a bit of a whinge at me so you've got the washer fluid warning coming up there check control messages have been carried out by the ecu and we're currently out of control so we're low on the old washer fluid and also now this reckons we're due i'm pretty sure it was telling me a service item was due but i think it was microfilter but that looks okay we're off due in january Let's see everything's looking all right just a washer fluid to take care of radio but before we get under the bonnet just got a couple of small cosmetic pieces to take care of here in the interior so first off if we take a look at the driver's door card you can see i've lost the small trim ring around the door lock pin there so what was happening every time i unlocked the car from the outside with the remote key the little trim ring would pop off it was like a game of buckaroo every time i unlocked the vehicle and it'd end up on the floor mat and then i keep reattaching it it would sort of locate sort of half decent but it kept flying off eventually it went somewhere i can't find it. it's probably under the seat or something so anyway picked up a new one from the dealer with all the clasps in place so we'll stick that on today make sure it's the right way around there we 
go, that's better. Let's tidy that up nicely. Right now, if we jump into the passenger seat. But before we do, let's just give this a quick test. Sorted. And if we take a look at this cup holder that I fitted quite some time ago now, you can see we've got a couple of exposed screws at either side. Now the cup holder did come with a couple of stickers to just cloak them screws there, but I never got round to fitting them. I just put them in the glove box and kind of forgot all about it. So we'll get that tidied up today. Here we go. The genuine ones. Now, the ones that were on the vehicle originally we're slightly off center, so don't judge me if these ones don't end up perfect. We'll try and get them as central as we can. It's not the end of the world if it's not. There we go. Guys, haven't you got anything better to do than watch me doing bits and pieces like this on my car? You know, really? Get right under there with that one. But yeah. When you own an E60 M5, it's not all rod bearing jobs and manual transmission swaps. This is the reality of owning one of these vehicles. These tiny little jobs like this, if you keep on top of things, it'll keep the condition of the vehicle just nice. And it's like people always say to me, oh geez, you own an E60 M5, they're so unreliable and this, that and the other thing. But like I always tell everybody, as long as you look after the car, they are incredibly reliable. It's not just about the maintenance and the reliability, you want to keep the thing tidy as well, so that's why these little jobs are important. Right, now back over to the driver's seat here. Next up, I have been having a bit of trouble with this thigh support. It has been getting a bit sticky, and it's definitely starting to make a bit of a noise. I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm assuming that little plastic gear has broken, just like the passenger seat did a while ago. Now we've got that one done, I did a DIY video on it, but today I'm just gonna whip this apart and replace that gear. I've ordered a new brass one to replace the fragile little plastic one. Now it's still operating, it did stick the other day and I had to kind of force it and then I got it moving again, but you can hear that gear making a bit of noise there. So let's whip this apart and get it fixed before the thing fails and my thigh support's gonna be all messed up.
All right, big test. Oh, that works much nicer now. No more clicking. It's not gonna fail me. So we've now achieved reliable fire support. Sorted. Next up, let's get this washer fluid topped up. Got the genuine BMW washer fluid here. The antifreeze, even though we're going into summer, whatever. Right, let's check out these check control messages. See if the old girl is happy now. So apart from the seatbelt, she's looking all good. Oh yeah, completed the check control messages. All right guys, so there we have it. There's a few little bits and pieces taken care of, keeping the E60 M5 in pristine shape. All right, it's nothing too exciting today, but all very necessary jobs if you if you like your car if you like looking after it and you like keeping it in tip-top shape now I know you guys have been wanting a few more videos especially on the E60 M5 but I've got so much on my plate at the minute a lot of shit I'm dealing with so I'm not gonna be able to pump out as many videos as I normally do as I'd like but if I do get the opportunity I'll try and drop one in here or there but just bear with me once I get on the other side of everything I'm dealing with right now we should be all good to go I'm doing everything I can to hang on to the E60 M5, I don't want to lose this car. So thanks a lot for checking out the video today, guys, and following along with me with my little E60 M5 adventure here. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to give it a like, and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more E60 M5 content. If you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing if that's your cup of tea. I'm M Tech Guy. thanks a lot for watching.